Some colleges and universities are requiring students to get vaccinated against COVID-19 before returning to campus in the fall. Here in our state, Duke University announced students will need to show proof of vaccinations and other immunizations before they can start classes this fall. On your side, Ariana Kraft joins us live from East Carolina University now. And Ariana, what is the UNC system planning for its students? The UNC system is planning to not require mandatory COVID-19 vaccinations for its schools. So students at ECU won't need one of these before returning to class this fall. I found out what led administrators to this decision. That if this is to be a system wide decision, it will be hard to get to one that pleases everyone. The UNC system, which controls 16 North Carolina public universities, is not mandating vaccines, stating there is no specific public health guidance on requiring vaccinations. And they do not believe that as a state entity, they have the legal authority to require such vaccines because current laws about required vaccines delineate exactly which ones uh, can be required and by whom. And while requiring vaccinations could mean a faster return to usual campus activities, it's a complicated issue. There seems to be concern that enrollment will decrease if in system schools if vaccines are required. Health departments across the East are seeing a decrease for the demand in vaccinations. We are definitely not doing the, the large scale clinics that we were doing in January or February. And the UNC system doesn't want to perpetuate vaccine uncertainty. There was a lot of uh, talk about vaccine hesitancy and that it would increase if vaccines were required. And while system leaders are relying on direction from federal and state public health officials, they are still urging people to get their COVID shots. There is strong encouragement to get students and everyone else vaccinated quick, as quickly as possible, and certainly many resources are being directed toward that purpose. UNC system leaders say campus clinics have administered more than 72,000 vaccinations, and they will continue to do so in the coming weeks and months. For now, live in Greenville, Ariana Kraft, 9 on your side. Ariana, thank you.